Okay, so first of all, type import matplotlib.py plot as plt. Then type fig ax1 is equal to plt dot subplots. And what this is doing is creating an empty plot and then separating out the figure and the axes so that we will be able to plot multiple different axes on the same figure. Then let's make the x variable. So I will call mine years. And let's make our first y variable and I will call mine first. Then we'll plot this data. So that will be x1 dot plot open brackets. Then we need to put in the x variable, which is years, and then the y variable, which is first. Then we need plt dot show. And that makes us a nice simple plot. Then let's create our second set of y values. Then we need to create axis number two, and we'll make this equal to ax1 dot twin x open and close brackets. And what this is doing is taking ax2 and ax1 and making them share the same x axes. Then we'll plot the second set of data. So ax2 dot plot open brackets, and the x values will be the same, so this will still be years, but this time we'll plot the second set of y values, so it will be second. And we end up with a second y axis on the right hand side. To change the color of these lines, we just need to do color equal to, and then in quotation marks, the color that you want to change it to. So I'll change this one to blue, and this one to green. Now let's add in our third set of Y values. And we need to do AX3, and again, we're going to make it equal to AX1 dot twin X open and close brackets, so that all three of them will share the same X axes. Then we'll plot the third set of data, so AX3 dot plot, open brackets, and the x values are the years, and the y values are the third, and this time I'll make the color red. And you'll see that the second and the third y axes are overlapping. So in order to fix this, we need to push the third y axis to the side a little bit. And we'll do that by using ax3 dot spines. And the spines are the lines around the edge, so like the borders. And we need to tell it that we want to move the spine on the right hand side. And then it's dot set underscore position. Then we need two sets of brackets. And then in quotes, we say outward. And then we need a number to tell it how much we want to move it outward by. And then I'll copy this because there's also a slight variation to this, which is that instead of saying outward here, we change it to axes and we change this here to 1.15. And it does the same thing. Now the rest of this is just going to be formatting. So first of all, we'll give all of the Y axes labels. So that's AX1 dot set underscore Y label, open brackets, and then in quotation marks, we put what we want the label to be. Then to change the color of this text, we just need to do color is equal to blue. And I will copy this and do the same thing for the other two axes. Then the next thing that we're going to do is change the tick parameters. And we want to change the parameters on the Y axis. And the parameters that we want to change are the colors with an S this time. And I'll change the colors to blue. 
and that changes the color of the numbers and the tick marks. Then I'll copy this and do the same thing for the other two axes. And now let's change the color of the actual line. So I'll start with axis number two because axis one is a slightly different. And this is going to be dot spines again. And we're changing the spine on the right hand side. But this time it will be set underscore color. And then we can just put the color in here in quotation marks. And I'll copy this and do the same thing for the third axis. Then we can try doing this for the first axis as well. We'll change this here to AX1 and this time we're changing the spine on the left hand side and we're changing it to blue. However, this looks like it hasn't done anything. And that is because of the order in which the axes are plotted. So AX1 is plotted first and then AX2 and AX3 are plotted over the top of it. So it has actually changed the color of the first axis. It's just that we can't see it because AX2 and AX3 are over the top of it. So in order to actually change the color of the line, we need to change this here to AX3 because that is the one that is on the top. And now the color of the line has actually changed. Then there's just one more thing that I want to show you, which is that if you save this, and we'll call this three axes version one dot PNG. Then it doesn't actually include the third Y axis. And that's because when we moved it to the side, we pushed it out of the frame. So in order to fix this, we need to do fig dot tight underscore layout, open and close brackets. And now we end up with a plot that actually includes the third Y axis. There's also a variation of this, where instead you type B box underscore inches equals tight. and you end up with a plot that looks like this. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a chart with three Y axes using matplotlib in Python, and that is everything.